Having completed the entire drawing now, and you can see that we've filled in each area with its own independent surface plane, we can, by pressing Control tab on our keyboard, look at it from the isometric view. All that's now required, I'll just make that full size, is for us to select each one of these planes and raise it to the correct height. Now this represents the area of the deck of the house and I'm going to raise that by choosing our transform commands and then my move entities command and I'm going to give it a coordinate setting, a height. So Z is the height above the X and the Y so I'm going to raise that up to 300 millimeters above ground level and select OK and you'll now see that this surface plane has literally risen above the other elements. I also know that I wish to raise the decking around the outside of the pool by 100 millimeters. So I use the same command and I raise that up 100 millimeters. And we continue the same process for each of the surface planes for the bottom face of those surface planes. Where an object has thickness, we choose a different process. For instance, with this wall, I would choose this wall and I know that it sits here at this ground level, but I'm going to use the project command and project it up by the height that I want that wall to be. And I'm going to choose 600 and I'm going to ask it to insert surfaces as it projects. So I select OK and we now have a wall that is 600 millimeters above ground level. And we can choose to zoom in on that, have a closer look. And you can see what that looks like from this angle. If we rotate it slightly and if we shade it by using the shade command and I'll just do shading only, you get to see it slightly more clearly where you've got lighter areas and darker areas depending on where it is relative to the view. We repeat the same exercise of either projecting or moving our surface planes until we get the desired result. So let's just have a look at one that I produced earlier. Okay, now perhaps you'll notice that in this model that I produced a little earlier, I've also changed some of the color schemes because the colors I was using formerly were not to my liking. But you can see what I've done. I've literally just chosen surface planes here and lifted and stretched them into position. With the deck we've got thickness, with the poles we've stretched them up to a higher level and with the chimney here we've stretched it right up um, and as we have this model in place we can hold the Alt key down and we can rotate that model and move it around just by using our mouse to get the desired view.